Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Rat with Tarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 31st to January 6th, 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you that that is a general reading for Libra Star Sign and therefore is going to resonate in a different level with every single different Libra for that reason, in this video, I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread, but at the end you have to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want your situation, personal one, to be analyzed just like I'm doing for the examples in, this, um, in these videos, uh, that is a subject of a personal, re personal reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a, a full list of my services as well as uh, their pricings so these are the four cards for you Libra now the first one that we do have as a topic of your month that is going to be the two of pentacles followed by the core of the situation that is going to be the ace of swords then what we do have here this is going to be the ace of pentacles that is the challenges which are causing predicaments and the last one that is going to be the magician card which is the guidance that you should follow so this week actually could present you with a, a new project to work on a project that you may feel not exactly prepared uh, for to jump into that is at least the initial um, the initial sense that you may have although uh, the more time you prepare uh, you you kind of spend not to prepare but to research what the nature of that project or that enterprise should I be more accurate is to be the more you are to start understanding that actually your uh, first impression or initial impression of insecurity it's more uh, it, it plummets more and more into the in vain side of the scale so you are going to start finding yourself more and more capable you know to actually make that enterprise happen and eventually to end up successful however this enterprise most likely throughout that week is going to be negotiated or it's going to be planned the initial stage it is yet to happen probably in the next week or the week after but it is very important that throughout this week um, you're kind of uh, how can I place it you're kind of accurate about your um, your responsibilities in what you cannot neglect throughout the course of probably year 2019 so the two of pentacles here as a topic of the week it does point that you are to juggling among many things this card kind of states that you are to experience some surprises some unexpected opportunities as well and also unexpected circumstances which are to allow you for that matter you know to make your life much more easier or to make your life much more lucrative it does depend depend how you're gonna play out those kind of uh, those kind of circumstances now with the two of pentacles it is always best if you are playful it is always best if you don't go with a uh, certain plan but believe how can I place it believe that you are capable to play with the uncertainty and at the end to you know to um, to shape it by your own personal vision Two of Pentacles is the card that it does represent that throughout this week those minor changes which aren't depending on you are to start happening either into your career or either into your relationship which will allow you to stir your situations in either your career or in either your relationship and yet the two of pentacles is a bit of a busy card so you will have many things to juggle in between you know and neither of them should take on a back seat so as long as you want your career to be on the front stage here you should not neglect your relationship either I mean if 
for example, Monday, you are giving more attitude towards your career, you have to compensate uh, with your relationship or with your friendships for that matter. It does depend, you know, what your situation is in some of the other days. It is just you have to basically maintain a, a balanced attention toward all of your um, all of your activities and yet you need to be vigilant you know to grasp on the opportunity because it's going to be quite uh unstandard opportunity or rather it's going to be surprising one and those who are going with the week by a, a strict plan will find it very difficult to fit that opportunity in their daily routine. The core of the situation here with the uh, Ace of Swords, it does represent the keen mind that you are to possess throughout the week or uh, the ability to analyze very accurate, accurately uh, your situations and how you can overcome those situations should those situations be um, be predicaments. The Ace of Swords, it's about the accurate diagnosis, it's about the keen mind, as I said, and also it is a, about um, those heroic efforts one is determined to improve their personal circumstances. Very often this card manifests itself like uh, let me give you that example, like you being neglected into your career while at the end you are already sick of it, being neglected there, taking the, the, the matters in your own personal hands and really proving how much you're worth. So it's kind of like making those, it's not even drastic, but final attempts, should I say, to improve circumstances and to get or to get one step closer to what you want or to take on a specific opportunity as it is displayed here with the Two of Pentacles. And yet with this card you got to be courageous, which you you are going to be for that matter as this is the root of or the core of the matter. So this is something granted to you. By the way, this card also will help you as it is in that specific position. It's going to help you to discern fantasies from reality, truth from lies and etc etc. So throughout this week many subjects that you found vague until this very moment are to become much more clearer and if you have found yourself baffled about certain situation well you will be baffled no longer. The next card which is the Ace of Pentacles here, the challenges which are causing predicaments, is pointing that those uh, opportunities or those changes are gonna wreak havoc into your, uh, into your daily routine. So the harmony, the peacefulness, the predictability, and even the stability is, uh, they are not gonna be threatened, all right? They're just gonna be disrupted, so Basically what that card tells us here is, is that if you want to grasp and seize on these opportunities to improve your personal circumstances, to alter your outcomes and to juggle in between uh, every field of your life in a, such a, in a such a subtle way that no one actually feel your absence and no one can tell you at the end you know you did not pay attention or you have abandoned me or etc etc, you will have to go against your way or outside of your way as well so you have to place yourself in a little bit awkward situation or you need to be ready to tackle with with an awkward performance of yours that you are usually not used to but the longer you perform it the longer you are going to uh, uh, the faster or the stronger you are going to adopt it as well uh, finally the ace of pentacles here although challenging it kind of points that you can maintain a, a good ground uh, into your um, into your relationship and as well a, a fair success into your business and the last one that is going to be the Magician card, which is the guidance that Saro is offering to you. So what the Magician here points is that you first of all need to exert your personal sovereignty. When it comes to uh, opportunities here and changes, you need to or you should grasp upon only those that you want or basically that you find lucrative or happy or successful uh, what i mean is that you should not allow anybody to tell you what you should do and how you should do it but you need to do it 
by your own personal image. Second of all, this card does represent the determination, uh, actions that are supported with a high determination. So this card advises you here that if you do something, be sure that you are doing exactly what you want. And again, we are going back to the Ace of Swords that points to the key in mind, to the, to the discernment of um, reality and, uh, and illusions and etc. etc. <clears throat> so it will not be an, an excuse for you Libras to say that you have been deceived basically. Uh, you will know the truth or kind of like you are going to foresee the truth uh, and uh, you will be able to place that accurate diagnosis for your situation. Therefore, uh, you have to be careful how you initiate in it and you should initiate only into those things. Uh, again, that um, you want and as well put a the necessary determination behind it. Finally, the magician here advise you to use your communicational skills because they are gonna bear a great results throughout this week, especially if you have to lead some sort of a negotiations, you, uh, you have to go to a job interview as well, or you are determined to I don't know, to negotiate with your ex-boyfriend or your future boyfriend or etc, etc, using your communicational skills to their maximum is really going to play out in such a way that situation is going to develop exactly the way you want it. <clears throat> so uh, pretty much that was uh, the tarot reading for you Libras and now let's uh, shuffle the Lenormand cards and what they are to show us is a uh, event that uh, you should either look forward to or try to avoid. Alright, so the first card that we do have, this is going to be the bear and the bear is associated with resources, support, headstrong and iron will. The next one that is going to be the sight or the sickle. The sickle is associated with harvesting and as well it kind of sometimes it saps the next card so reverses the um, the meaning of the next card. And the next card this is going to be the sun and I don't think that the reversal is in place here. What these cards are telling me in general is that a, a support, a resources or a, a determination of yours as we said here is going to allow you to harvest your success. It's basically this is what these cards are pointing. So if, if you are receiving support throughout this week, uh, if you happen to receive support throughout this week uh, or attempt someone to support you like through help or lending you, I don't know, a helping hand, money or etc, etc, do not be too proud to accept it guys. That help is going to allow you again to harvest your success. Uh, <clears throat> and. Uh, Basically, uh, these cards here as well are pointing, as I said, that if no one is there to help you, your determination and iron will, headstrong, is going to help you or is going to make it so you are to harvest your success. But <clears throat> one more thing I forgot to mention here with the Magician card, you have to be very careful once again, because what you are to create throughout this week is going to be indestructible so you cannot give up from it all right and you have to bear it for I don't know tarot reading is not for a lifetime all right but I would say you have to bear it for next at least half a year or one year so be very very careful about the power that this week is giving to you so, uh, that being said, Libras, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 31st to uh, January 6, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, that was just a general reading for Libra Star Sign. Uh, and in this video, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy uh, in the spread. But at the end, you have to do the job to align it to your personal situation. Now, if you want your situation to be analyzed, with tarot cards by me, uh, you go for a personal reading and for personal readings uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now, see you next time, bye!